Hello everybody, this is The Oregon Man, and uh, today we're going to explore a cocktail that you may have never heard of. Uh, it is called the Vesper Martini. Some people call it the James Bond Martini, and here's why. So in 1952, I believe, uh, Ian Fleming invented this drink in his first book called Casino Royale. Many of you have watched the movie with Daniel Craig, and you might recall that the scene where he was, uh, he was playing cards and he decided to bring the barman over and ordered a drink that he just made up. And it's unique because of the, uh, at least one of the three ingredients that it takes to make this. And it's very different from any other martini. Uh, the flavor profile is velvety smooth. And I think once you have one, it's going to be hard to go back to a, a classic martini. So the way that this story un unveiled was kind of interesting, kind of fun. So, first of all, you should know that Casino Royale as a club, as a poker club, doesn't exist. Now, this is a little bit of Hollywood magic, and uh, the, uh, the filmmakers did go down to Montenegro, but there is a place called the Ocean Club, and that's where parts of the movie was, were filmed, and then other parts of the movie were filmed in other uh, locations around Europe. Uh, so, but nonetheless, in fact, we know this because... My wife and I were actually thinking about taking a vacation to Montenegro, and we had this vision of us sitting uh, up in a balcony someplace drinking a Vesper Martini at Casino Royale, only to find out that, nope, that <laughs> just doesn't exist. Uh, so that's kind of a funny side story, and uh, so don't go to Casino Royale. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it's not there. So um, let's talk a little bit about the ingredients of this, uh, this cocktail. And as you know, a classic martini, whether it's gin or vodka, is going to have some vermouth. Uh, that is, of course, French, and that is a French wine aperitif, but uh, very, very dry and very different than the aperitif that we're going to be used uh, in this cocktail. Uh, there's three simple ingredients, and uh, we'll start out with the vodka. And it's very specific in his drink that um, uh, at least the gin is very specific. Now, you can use any vodka you want to. Uh, I'm sticking with Gordon's because we're going to be using the, the Gordon's gin as well. Uh, they specifically, or James Bond specifically, asked for Gordon's. And today, you're going to find this on the bottom shelf. Back in the day, I'm sure it was just as good as anybody, any other gin out there. Uh, but today, it's, uh, it's, it's made in plastic bottles. And uh, you're only going to pay like you know 25 bucks for it. So it's a, it's a steal at the same time. But it is really the difference makers. We've used other gin, and it's not the same. So let's uh, let's start out with uh, with pouring our and measuring our ingredients. We have our shaker because we all know what Bond doesn't like his martini stirred. He likes it shaken. So we're going to start out with one ounce of vodka. You can get a little sloppy with that. We're going to do two ounces of Gordon's gin. And you can get really sloppy with this if you want to. There you go. All right, here's the secret ingredient. L.A. Blanc. Uh, not something you can find at every grocery store. Uh, rarely found in liquor stores, frankly. Uh, you're going to specialty markets, uh, at least where I live, is Market of Choice and Zupan's markets. Uh, and then, thankfully, Costco now carries this. It is a, uh, it's a wine aperitif. It's from France. Uh, it's not something that you would probably want to drink on its own over ice, but you could, if, if that's your taste. So we're going to use a, a half ounce of Lalay. And let's stir it up. Whoops, let's shake it up. All right, let's get a chilled glass. And see what kind of magic we can make. Beautiful. We're going to finish this cocktail with not olives, never olives in a Vesper martini. Always going to be a lemon twist. Use my channel knife here. I like to do it over the drink itself so the, 
the, the oils of the lemon will drop in there and it'll make a nice uh, pretty garnish for our drink. One thing I like to do, take my bar spoon, use the uh, swirly pattern on your bar spoon, and let's make this into kind of a curly cue. And we'll kind of tighten that up there a little bit. We like to go ahead and do the inside and the outside of our glass. Drop it in. And there's your Vespa Martini. Cheers. Delicious. Hope you go home and try this tonight. It's a great, uh, great cocktail and a fun story. Thank you all. I'll see you next time.